from Community Therapy. We're here at Alpha Life Care. I'm with Gavin. What bed do we have here today? Thanks very much, Scott. Uh, so today we have the Bok 1580 uh, height adjustable bed. It is a four section bed, meaning we have the backrest, the knee brake uh, to position the person and the patient wherever they find it best. Uh, the 1580 meaning that it goes down to 15 centimetres and it goes up to 80 centimetres. Okay. So we've got a great height range. Yep, so we always like to explain some of these things a little bit further for people at home, not knowing if you're a health professional or you might be um, just a general person without um, health experience. So four section meaning there's different sections of the bed that can move independently. Yeah, correct. Yep. And then from an occupational therapy point of view, a health professional usually prescribing a bed for an older adult, person living with a disability, we like a range of heights, in particular um, that ability to go down quite low. There's lots of different reasons why we might prescribe something that low. One of those could be a falls injury minimization strategy. For those in the aged care and disability sector, there's other considerations around a low low bed regarding is that restraining somebody from moving but our occupational therapists are very good at talking through those different considerations in terms of a different height option really great for facilitating transfers everyone's of a different height different length of limbs which then means their ability of where they can transfer from at which height is very important um, what are some other key characteristics of this bed the unique thing about this bed, Scott, is the fact that the side rails are actually a divided rail. So we have here a rail that can come up and it locks in. Now the good thing about it is that can be then the only rail you use. Of course, still allowing the client to get in and also to get out of bed. The good thing about getting out is that once they're sitting on the side, they have actually got something solid they can hold on to and push up off and therefore also minimising falls. Um, yep. Some studies have shown that lots of falls actually happen with the client standing up, then taking some steps and falling um, due to loss of balance or whatever. So at least with a solid rail, you can stand up, hold onto it, and you've got something nice and stable so you can stabilise yourself, also giving time for a bed alarm to go off yep. and for some client care to come and um, prevent them from falling. Yeah, so great options in terms of looking at rails from an occupational therapist, physiotherapist point of view as well in terms of there are uh, considerations that we have uh, in disability and aged care sector once again against NDIS practice scan standards or aged care quality standards around rails, sometimes right to take risk forms, sometimes around restraint as things as well. But a bed rail can be a really great piece of assistive technology to help people with repositioning in bed, turning, transfers, sit to stand as well, like you're saying. And yes, a lot of falls can occur in and around the bed in and around someone's bedroom and also in um, and around their bathroom as well. So often getting the right bed um, and all of the uh, understanding how somebody transfers in and out of the bed is really important for minimising falls. Yeah, that's good. And then if, the, if you do want to completely close the rail off, obviously with all the tick boxes yep. ticked, um, then you can simply raise this one. And that can either be installed or not installed, but it can then become a full side rail for the protection of the client if that is so needed. Yep. Yeah, wonderful. Who's the, who usually typically buys this type of bed? Um, is that more of a disability group home, residential aged care facility, or we see these in individual homes as well? Yeah, certainly. We see it in all those scenarios, yeah. Yep. So they're actually really um, common in the aged care market, so in yep. the aged care facilities. Uh, group homes, they work yep. really well. Uh, they are a German bed, so the quality is great and you've got the longevity and you've got really precise en engineering. Uh, really great, great quality, um, stand up to all sorts of rigours and uh, treatments. Yep, um, much easy, you know, easy surface to wipe down correct. and clean for hygiene reasons. And then again, it's got the central locking casters, so yep. just one brake locks all the wheels, but yep. it works well in a home care environment, yep. in an individual bedroom, right up to your multi multi-number bed in an aged yep. care facility or group home. Yep, you can see not only with the rails, but we have um, what we would call congruency with other pieces of equipment as well um, with our monkey bar here. But um, from an occupational therapy physio point of view, we're always looking at, okay, what other pieces of equipment may be congruent here? Not only things that can sort of insert into or attach to the bed, but 
we're often then looking for under bed clearance with lifters and all different types of equipment but hopefully that gives you a bit of an understanding in this video of all the different considerations we have with beds um, this one being a fantastic example of that anything else that you'd like to cover no other than it does can also come with a length extension okay. and it is also available in king single so again we've got those widths and lengths covered for you as well yeah wonderful all right i think we've covered a lot today if you've got any questions feel free to ask thanks for your time and we'll see you in the next video